guys, it's Bonnie. Today I am here to talk about my most anticipated releases of 2019. For the past couple years, I haven't really paid attention to new releases all that much. When they came, they just kind of came and I'd be like, oh yeah, that's releasing this year. But this year I wanted to do a video on some of the books I am anticipating just so I have something to look back on and then I can see how many of the new releases I read, how many I didn't. Another reason I normally don't pay attention to new releases or make a video about it is because because I typically don't have a very large list, but I did go through a list of books that are releasing and came up with one of 15 that I am anticipating most of all. There could be some that I missed, so let me know what yours are down below. So starting off with January, the first book on my list is Slayer by Kirsten White. I'm pretty sure a common theme with this video is gonna be me not knowing much about the book, so let's just expect that for everyone from the get-go. What I know about this is that it takes place in the Buffy the Vampire universe, now, I've never watched Buffy, so I hope you don't have to watch it to read this, but it's on my most anticipated list because Kirsten White has become an author that I do really enjoy. She wrote The Conqueror's Saga, which I loved, and I also recently read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein from her, and it was pretty good as well. She's just really good at writing characters that I love, regardless of what the plot surrounding it is. So while I don't know if the plot of this one alone would be something that sucks me in, the fact that it is by Kirsten White and I know she's gonna write some great characters, makes me want to read it. Next, also in January, and probably my most anticipated on this list, is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. I am Leigh Bardugo trash, so I cannot wait to read this. It is another book set in the Grisha world, and this one is starring Nikolai, who you will know if you've read the original Grisha trilogy. I absolutely adored Nikolai. He's so fun, he's so charismatic, and I can't wait to read about him. I think there's gonna be some other familiar faces popping up as well and I'm just... <sighs> And this one comes out January 29th, so the end of this month. Also coming out on January 29th is 99% by Sally Thorne. I only recently added this one to the list because I just read The Hating Game and I absolutely loved it. I'm interested not only to see if Sally Thorne can write another romance that I enjoy, but also to see if she's improved on some of the things that I didn't love in The Hating Game. Moving on to February, we have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which comes out on the 5th. What I know about this book is that it follows a young teenager who wants to be a rapper, I think? Like most of the rest of the world, I absolutely loved The Hate You Give, so I am just here to read anything that Angie Thomas writes. Not only was The Hate You Give something that was important and poignant and really sad and terrifying at times, but it also had so much humor and just family moments that I absolutely adored, so I can't wait to read her latest novel. Next, I have Blood Witch by Susan Dennard, which comes out on the 15th. This is the third book in the Witchlanders series, which first book being Truth Witch. I absolutely love Truth Witch. It was one of my favorite books of 2018. The second book in this series really opened a bunch of different lanes for this series to go down. I can't really say much because it's the third book in a series, but if you haven't picked up Truth Witch, I highly recommend it. Last for February comes out on the 26th, and it is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. All I know about this book is that it has dragons, and it's really, really, really long. I adore the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon, and so I just want to read another book by her. If it's anything like the Bone Season, I know it will be so creative, so unique, and with characters that I absolutely adore. Moving into March, releasing on the 5th is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. In 2018, I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and absolutely loved it, just like everybody else. If I'm remembering correctly from the synopsis of this one, it's that these two people meet, one is Daisy Jones and one is some guy, name unknown, and they are both musicians. I think it's set during the 80s and I think they kind of come together to form a band, something like that. All I know is that for some reason when I read the synopsis, it gave me a Star is Born vibes, like I feel like I'm just gonna be picturing Daisy Jones as Lady Gaga and the other dude as greasy haired Bradley Cooper and I don't know I was just like I need to read this now. I could be totally off but we'll find out in March. Also releasing on the 5th is Call Me Evie by J.P. Homer. This is kind of a reach for most anticipated but hear me out. It's a thriller, one of my favorite genres, and in the synopsis it said for fans of Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, which is my favorite Gillian Flynn book, probably my favorite thriller of all time. I don't even 
remember anything else from the synopsis, but I just remember I read that and I was like, I want to read it. Last for March and releasing on the 12th is Heroin by Mindy McGinnis. All I know about this book is that it's a dark YA contemporary where heroin is definitely a main topic. In 2018, I read The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis, which was also a dark YA contemporary and I absolutely loved it. So I'm hoping that I will also love this one. The only book I have for April comes out on the 2nd and it is Defy Me by Tahara Mafi. This is now the fifth book in the Shatter Me series. If you somehow have not heard of Shatter Me, it is about a girl named Juliet whose touch can kill. She's been in this mental hospital prison thing for 264 days and one day she's dragged out by this dude named Warner and basically they want her to fight for the reestablishment and shit goes down from there. Restore Me was um interesting to say the least. It left off with a lot of crazy things happening and I'm excited to see where this goes. Moving on to May. First up releasing on the 7th is You're Not Special by Megan Rinks. I'm actually not sure if this is still the release date but that's what it still says on Goodreads so we're going with it for now. This is a think a memoir by Megan Rinks. If you don't know who that is, she is a YouTuber on here. I have been watching her for years. I also listen to her podcast, which is Don't Blame Me, and I just really love her. I think she's hilarious, and I've been following her for so long. I'm really excited to read this book, hopefully listen to it if there's an audiobook for it. Also releasing on May 7th is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. If you're watching this video, then I'm pretty sure you know who Christine is. She's like one of the most popular popular booktubers, if not the most popular. And I think it's really interesting to read books by people who have been in this community and who have helped really start a foundation for this community. I don't read YA contemporaries all that often, but I do kind of want to check out this one just because it, it's someone from the community. It's kind of cool. From what I know, it is about a girl named Shane who is trying to kind of get a second chance at college when she goes on a study abroad program. I think it'll be interesting reading about a college student. In my opinion that would make the book more new adult than young adult but new adult as a genre hasn't really been founded beyond like smutty tropes you know. Last for May and coming out on the 14th is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. In 2018 I read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren and absolutely loved it. One of my favorite romance books of all time. I can't quite remember the plot of this one. I think it's about two people who end up going on a cruise together because the original people who were supposed to go on it couldn't go for some reason and I think it's like a honeymoon cruise but these people aren't married or on a honeymoon kind of thing. Not 100% sure but I've been wanting to read more Christina Lauren. Hopefully I will do so before May but regardless I do want to check out whatever they're putting out because Josh and Hazel was one of their recents so I think they're doing good things. My next most anticipated book does not even come out until October so we're skipping a bunch of months and I'm not even sure if this is for sure the release date, but I think coming out October 1st is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Two Lee Bardugo books in one year. What did I do to deserve this? I'm so excited for this book. All I really know about it is that it follows this girl who is going to Yale and she's on like a mission to discover something going on in one of the secret societies that Yale has. I think it has something to do with occult things, not entirely sure, but it just sounded right up my alley because for some reason reading about like private schools or like uppity schools like a Yale or you know whatever in the secret societies that are in them is just so interesting to me. Couple that with Lee Bardugo writing it and it's just and finally, my last most anticipated release for 2019 does not even have a for sure release date, but I believe it's supposed to be coming out this year. Please, Lord, let it be coming out this year. And that is Fall Boys and Dizzy in Paradise by Jandy Nelson. Honestly, the title is a little questionable, but it's Jandy Nelson, so we're gonna go with it. Do I have any idea what this book is about? No. Do I care what this book is about? No. It's Jandy Nelson. I read both I'll Give You the Sun and The Sky is Everywhere last year in 2018 and absolutely love both of them. She is now an auto buy author. I will read anything she puts out into the world. So whatever this is, I can't wait for it. So those were all my most anticipated releases of 2019. Again, let me know if you think I missed any. Let me know what your most anticipated releases are. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.